Cancer. Tell me what the answer is, baby. What is going on? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of March 2021. Baby, we in here to have some fun. I hope all of y'all are having a fun and festive time. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have clicked like, share, and subscribe to this video um if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading or if these videos resonate and you want to show some love you know send some support to the page um check out the description of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives the uh reading pricing list all the various forms to contact me and show support the best way to contact me is to send me a message on instagram if you do not have instagram email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com Okay, so listen, we're going to do like we always do, my boo. We're going to give the Lord, Father God, the Creator, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call Him, praise and acknowledgement and thanks, you know, for just bringing us here and just delivering us every day with daily bread and just love, okay, and nourishment. So, uh, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. We thank you so much for just putting your heavenly hand on us, Father. Father God and guiding us. We thank you so much for freeing us from any type of negative energy. We thank you so much for all of the blessed currency that's been coming into our pockets, Father God. We thank you for the currency, Father God. Oh, hello. All right. We thank you so much for just all of the gifts and just prosperity and just like you have just been protecting us and just keeping us with shelter and comfort the whole time father god the whole time we have never been without or in need father god in god's speed you always deliver you always deliver father god so we just thank you so much for just all of your gifts that you give us father god we're coming here today to just ask you for just clarity and just guidance on our day to day and what we need to think and just focus our energy or just prepare ourselves for in the month of march father god so just give us the guidance that we're looking for today uh for the sign of cancer in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen let's get into this cancer let's get on so it all right so you know I got the lovely 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 tea leaf cards that you guys love so oh 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 okay I was gonna ask for three cards but y'all just Okay, what can you say? What can you say, Cancer? So listen, what we got going on? Oh, cancer! <laughs> what we got going on? <laughs> gong. Gong. Okay, hold on. Cancer said, hold on. I, I got an announcement. Hold on, hold on. Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Hello. Okay. <clears throat> Let me speak into the mic. I got an announcement. We done broke up. <laughs> I am not motherfucker no more. Listen, I'm not with that motherfucker no more. Listen, I single, 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 single. single. Hey, hey, hey. Life. Hey, 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 it's the single, 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 single. Tell me what you talk about. Life, okay? We is a reloaded baby. Listen, I spied with my naked eye. Listen, I used, you know, all my psychic senses and stuff. That six senses, you know. Oh my God, I see dead people because that motherfucker is dead to me, okay? Dead to me. Listen, God said, hold on, you got to use that third eye in the name of Jesus. Jesus, sha la la, come on, cancer, sha la la, cancer, okay, cancer said, I spy with my naked eye, honey, that shit wasn't no good for me, listen, as soon as I said, gong, listen, gong, announcement, announcement, um, <clears throat> I don't want to be with you no more. Okay, yeah, as soon as we did that, you know, because God told me, my no, spirit told me to just go ahead and let that go. Listen, the rainbow came out. The rainbow came out. Listen, it says the most difficult part of the situation is over. Excuse me? So, God, is you telling me the only thing I had to do was just break up? And listen, break up? 
Listen, the parting of ways and add the romance of business. Listen, I just had to use into what? Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. I just had to trust my intuition and just go ahead and let that go and just just, just the rainbow and sunshine and just all the difficult stuff just moved on. Oh, this is exciting for me. This is exciting for me. I need to... What? God, you should have told me this a long time ago. And God's like, bitch, I was trying. I was trying. To, I was trying to I was trying to tell you, but you know, you wanted to see what you wanted to see, okay? Do you see what I see? Bitch, we see dead people. I see dead people, bitch, okay? That bitch is dead to me. Or oh, that nigga is dead to me, okay? So I don't know what else, okay? Do you see what I see, okay? Nothing. Nathan. Nathaniel. Nansford, bitch. Because I'm single, okay? That's what I see. Oh, okay, so we gonna keep doing this? What is this? Bird flying. <laughs> oh my god. News on the way. Listen, y'all don't flew the coop like cancer. It's like, listen, I'm single. Reds, you not hearing me? That's the only thing this reading is about to be about. Listen, I'm single. You might as well write that down as the title. I'm single. I am single. I'm about to put this. Listen, do we still do email blasts? This must be an old motherfucker. Do we still do email blasts? <laughs> What's your email? I'm about to email everybody. Okay, God damn. Woo, honey, there's some news coming on the way, Cancer. Y'all might got some exciting news coming on the way, Cancer. Lord Jesus, y'all just excited to just tell everybody. Oh, look, the lion row. Okay, look, time to act. Look, Cancer said I got. The, I had to fly the coop. I had to go on my instincts. I had to go on my animal instincts right there, right there. What is this? The wheel indecisiveness allowing your life to uh to ramble aimlessly this is was the problem this why that flew over there because this shit just kept going on and on and on and on and going round and round in circles round and round in circles that's why when you was like well god well, why you didn't tell me a long time ago god was trying to tell you but you just wanted to go round and round and round on this goddamn wheel being indecisive not knowing if you want to stay on this shit or go and you know the shit was just going on and on so Okay, so we got bread. A period of prosperity and abundance is here. That's good. So you guys, there may be information coming your way or just like finances in general. Y'all know people be getting their tax money around this time. So you may be heavily a fly. Period of ill health and depression. And then you said take care enemies are working against you. Whoa. But you know what though? I know Kansas though. Kansas think a lot. Y'all like to sit around and y'all just y'all just think. Y'all think too much though. Y'all can't think yourself to some fucking illness or depression or some goddamn shit. But the way I was feeling just a minute ago, like y'all was excited about being single. But I know cancers again. Like that is what y'all will portray to the world. But when y'all are by yourself, especially like if y'all just got y'all own apartment, like say y'all um we're in a relationship where y'all lived with someone, right? And then y'all broke up, right? Y'all broke up. Y'all got divorced or whatever. You know, you got some exciting news. Is you know, all of the stuff. You got off of the wheel. You're not indecisive no more. You trust your intuition. The difficult is over. So you're excited. But it's like when you're in that apartment by yourself, it's like, you realize that you're by yourself a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And... I really do feel like that's, that's, like, I really don't, to me, I don't ever think that nobody else's energy or what they think about you, what they try to prey on you, because sometimes people can try to push negative energy off you. Your, your energy ain't that powerful to fuck with me, 
Personally, that's how I feel. So, I know a lot of people be like, oh, someone put a curse on me. Uh, man, fuck that shit, bruh. The God that I served, and can't none of that shit touch me. I don't know why people be sitting up there feeding into that shit. That's why y'all mind. When y'all sit there and y'all entertain that fucking shit, then y'all do start to see shit. Then shit do be spooking yourself out because you feeding that foolishness into your brain, and your brain is a powerful thing. Do you understand? That's why I try to tell a lot people that have fucking mind control do you understand because there are people that will try to wish and do little dumb ass shit to try to wish harm on you and shit like that but if you truly 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 know this one right here this one right here baby can't nothing touch you and the only person stressing you to fuck out is you okay <laughs> okay I am reloaded, because we're going to talk about truth, truth, and the whole motherfucking truth, okay? Ain't nobody doing shit, can't nobody wish, I don't give a fuck who do, voodoo, woo-woo, can't none of that shit do a motherfucking thing to me, you understand? And once y'all embody that and know that shit, because like it does say, take care, enemies are working against you right here. We know that old bald-headed bat, little turkey neck, little midget little <laughs> malnourished motherfucking pussy head ass bitch you know like who knows you know what I'm saying like who cares you know there people be speaking curses on me every day. I fuck that bitch. That bitch is to lose. I hope she die. Bitch, you'll die first. I don't. Look, as soon as a motherfucker speaks some ill shit on me like that, this shit happened to them first. I don't stress on this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And sometimes it's best to be alone. Listen, I I, I, I tell people all the time, and I don't mean to have like a soapbox moment real quick, but I'm about, I'm about to get off my soapbox, right? I had to talk to one of my clients the other day. And her thing was so serious about she didn't want to be single. She's never been in a relationship. She want to be in a relationship so bad. And I'm like, how many people that you know in a relationship are happy? She said none. And then she went on and started telling me about bad situations and this and that. And I said, so would you, you stressing yourself out here? And you're single and peaceful. And you ain't got nobody cheating on you. Nobody beating on you. Nobody bringing you diseases. Nobody. You in a relationship but you're alone. Because this person is off doing whatever the fuck. So you're complaining. Would you want to trade places? Because you want a relationship? I'd rather be by myself if it ain't healthy. You hear me? So Cancer. If you left something and on the outside world, if you could be that excited because you're finally free, baby, when you get your ass in your motherfucking house and you and your skin by yourself, I want you to remember every fucking second of the day that you have every reason to celebrate in the outside world. And especially when you inside of your own house and in your own skin, you are worthy. Of nothing but happiness. Don't you sit down and listen to no negative thoughts in your mind. Don't think about no negative energy. No hoopla, voodoo, hoodoo, boo-boo. Any of that bullshit. Because it's going to hit them first. And the only way anything or no negative energy. Okay? Because before a motherfucker could be an enemy to you, they're an enemy to their motherfucker self. Trust and believe that. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to have this soapbox moment, but bitch, we going out. Okay? Because I got too many of my friends out of Kansas and I love the fuck out of y'all. And I ain't about to have nobody play. And I ain't about to let y'all sit there and do that to y'all. Because so, I have to talk. I have to grab my cancer because we're water signs. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? We're water signs. And I know I'll sit there and, and get like that. And my, my friends, my, especially my water sign friends, they be having to grab me like, oh, bitch, mm -mm. we ain't doing that. You happy? We blessed. Okay? So, like, mm-mm. Fuck them. The bullets gonna hit their ass first. Let their ass sip every sip of their own curse. Every little, every little negative thing that they said, they gonna sip a sip of their own curse before you will ever, ever feel a pinch of the bitch. Okay? Alright? Listen, they might be sitting over there wishing death and negative shit on, on you. Girl, that shit might come to you as a goddamn sign is cold, okay? And they ass might end up with fucking cancer or some shit like that, wishing that dumb ass shit on you. And you might end up with a fucking sign is cold, okay, bitch? So that's why I'm trying to tell you. Don't worry about motherfuckers. 
Don't worry about that shit. Let motherfuckers say what they're going to say. Okay? And you got to follow your dreams. Okay? Follow your dreams, Cancer. You said you want to be free and you want to get the fuck off that wheel. Follow your dreams, Cancer. Don't let nothing and nobody stop you. What is this? Surrender. Surrender to your dreams. Surrender to what it is that you really want to do. Stop fighting with yourself with this shit. You said that you wanted to be free, that you wanted to break up, that you wanted to release yourself, you're trusting your insta. Surrender to this process. Be happy. Don't be sitting over there thinking about nothing but being fucking happy, Cancer. Allow yourself to be happy. You know, I have to remind myself that all the fuck it's especially when I'm going that, especially after a breakup. I have to remind myself that constantly sometimes. And I just be like, damn, like, Red's like, why? Like, you know, why we got to be having these conversations with ourselves? But it is what it is, you know? It is, it till what it till. It till what it till. And then for the person that broke up with the cancer, I honestly want to just, you know, that the cancer broke up with or however the situation. I want you to know from the cancer's point of view why they had to leave why did Cancer have to leave? What would Cancer say? It says, it says, I can still feel you. That's that's why I'm saying like this overthinking and shit like that. And the enemies working against you things. It said, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Mmm. Give me one more. That is too much. I'll take those two. That is too much. It says, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Mm. And what does it say? I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. Mm. Mm. So it seems to me like But that seems like so Kansas, because Kansas don't know how to release motherfuckers and let people go. Like seriously. Seriously. It's like they will walk away. It, first off, it's hard as fuck for a cancer to really surrender to walking away. But they'll do it. But emotionally, like, they won't physically be there. But emotionally, they will still be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, no bullshit. Still looking at the motherfuckers' pictures and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I can't do right by you. Sorry I couldn't write by you. I just had to do something else. The cancer wanted to follow their dreams. It's something here in this connection. It's like whoever this is. I don't know if this is again. Y'all have to take it how it resonates. Regardless if it was the cancer. Or if it's the person dealing with the cancer. Something just kept going on and on and on. And it was too difficult. And they had to trust their intuition. It just wasn't right. It just wasn't right. I feel like this person feels. Um, I do feel like some level of regret here, because there was a, there was a connection here. There was a connection, but you gotta go follow your dreams sometimes. And I want to say that cancer might have created an enemy out of whoever this is, like for real. Got the five of swords. What is this? Yeah, you got the two of wands. So again, like I want to say that the cancer has been sitting back contemplating for a while now. Just feeling like the grass was greener on the other side. I really just feel like it really just had to do with cancer feeling like the grass was greener on the other side. That's why cancer wanted to go. I just feel like cancer did not feel satisfied. It's like, I want to say cancer is chasing something. Um, it's like chasing something. Or whoever this is, is chasing something. Just feeling, just like a need, a feel, a desire. Just feeling, 
like there's something else you know what i'm saying there's something else out there there's something else that they should be doing and again like following their dreams like whatever it is like this just wasn't it you know and again it was like as soon as they broke up it's like whatever the difficulty that was going on, it just released itself from, from the cancer's life or whoever this was that was dealing with this cancer. It just released itself. The most difficult part of the situation is over. So the separation needed to happen because y'all was just, listen, indecisive, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Shit was just going haywire and it was like you was just sitting there watching this shit. Knowing that your mind and your body is telling you to follow your dreams. And this ain't it. To keep searching. You got the five of swords again. Like I'm saying. Someone has most definitely created an enemy. Um, I want to say there was a war of words. Or war of wit. Um, it's like someone seen. This is like someone... It was like scared of like some level of violence. Uh, the queen of discs in reverse. And ace of cups in the reverse. Wow, that's, that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. This, this is, this to me is like, this was someone that was like extremely volatile. It's like the woman, um, it's like a, it's a feminine energy. It's like extremely volatile, especially with words, like a lot of arguing and screaming and like mental manipulation. And I want to say like verbal torture, like talking down to someone, um, there's a, was a lot of sneakiness and betrayal here it's like having to watch your back um i want to say someone met their match in this in the, in a relationship say so someone met their match um this is this was a heartbreaker right here only thing this person cared about was money and possibly sex and this person could have had sex with like no emotion. Could have had God. I don't want to say that, but like could have had sex with like anyone. Like with the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Discs in the reverse. It's like no emotion, no. And then with the Five of Swords, it's like this person seen. It's like this person seen the Beast or something like that. Um. It's like seeing the worst of them. Like, oh my God. Like, this person could have been abusive. <laughs> it's like this person doesn't know how to show love. This person can't have sex with you, but doesn't know how to show love. If you're not giving this person money or if you're not catering to this person financially, they really show you where, they, where you stand with them. They love money above everything. Like, period. If you're not doing nothing for them, they're ready to fight you. Or I just feel like this, whoever this was, is just like, it was just crazy. I just wanted to pour all of the of the love out. It's just like all of the shit out. And like the queen of disc in reverse, like the queen of pinnacles is a very clean woman. It's a very um, neat Likes nice things. This could be a very cheap woman. So she could wear, wear cheap clothes. Um, shop at like Value Mart type of thing. Like feed their child noodles and like unhealthy foods. A bunch of fast foods. Like this is someone that can let their body get out of shape. And you know doesn't value nutrition and hygiene and cleanliness like this person can have pets in the house and it's like dog feasty like you could smell like you could smell dog you know what i'm saying like it could be like unkept yard like dog shit you might not be able to walk through the yard you might step on a pile of dog shit or like just someone that don't take good care of their animals, or the, or might can have a lot of children. It's on welfare. Like this is like some crazy shit. I'm just in. 
I'm like really seeing some like wild ass shit. Cause do you see like the way the eyes just like it's something like it's like what the fuck have I got myself into? Like what the fuck? You know, I want to say cause like the five of swords is like someone that was tricked, that was betrayed, that was misled, that was um scan that was con uh that's like the thief card or you know like the enemy like the spider you know like the it's it, it's like they see this person it's like the enemy it's like no love I don't, I don't want any of this this is not what i consider this is not what I consider love. This is not good to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, that five is some, it's, it's something in the eyes of that five of swords. It's like, um, I feel like a lot of fights. Uh, I don't know if, like, this like this person could have people, to, could have sent people to try to threaten you, to beat you up or something. Like, like this person is wild as fuck. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, surrender to what the fuck God is trying to show you about. You know what I'm saying? Because even with this eye, like this intuition, it's like God was trying to show you before you made the decision to get involved with the shit. And then you were indecisive about if you wanted to leave or not. It's like, okay, you want to see it for real? Okay, well, this is who this motherfucker is for real. See it for real this time. You know what I'm saying? And... Be done with it if that's what you want to do. That's a wild ass shit, Cancer. Damn. Let's see what we got. We got the shark. You got survival, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, this has something to do with some, like, abuse, man. And don't think, like, women can't be abusive and things like that. Because this is like a woman abusing someone. This is not a man. And then a, a bro umbrella shelter. So, I don't know. Like, you could have been with this woman because you needed shelter and it was survival. Because, like, that's what it's telling me. It's like, you needed a place to live. Is that how you got caught up with this woman? You needed a place to live? This woman's going to give you shelter? I don't know if this person is on, like... Section 8, government, is, I don't know, because with the queen of disc in the reverse, it's like this person is like not able to take care of herself on her own or she does things by illegal means to get, you know what I'm saying? That's not the typical quick, child, listen, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't about to stress me out and I ain't about to use all these, ooh, ooh. Should we see what's going on in the shadow, Cancer? Y'all want to see what's going on in the shadow? Because listen, y'all, y'all, because this what is juicy like Lucy. Okay. Give me some guidance. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see. We got the Ace of Diamonds here with the birds. That's good. And then you got the moon with the Five of Hearts. Okay. So, I want to say legitimately, like, there are people, like, birds are singing. People are talking about you. But they're talking about you in a very good, in a very favorable way, Cancer. Um, with the Ace of Diamonds, again, it's like, word could have got out that you're single. Word could have most definitely got out uh, that you're single. Um, I feel like you're more approachable. Um... I want to, it's like people are speaking good words upon you. Good words upon you. Like you're dateable. Um, that five of hearts is like attractive. It's like, uh, I don't know. There could be some whispers. Or I don't know if, I don't know if you're whispering. I feel like people are talking about you though. And the five of hearts to me is like females talking about you. Females talking about you. Like the Ace of Diamonds is like um, the beginning of like a new enterprise or exchanging of information, uh, talking banter or like education. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, um, or like a financial assistance or gain or something like that. So it's like receiving. That's that's to me what, you know, the Ace of Diamonds is. It's like receiving something. I have information, news, help, or something like that. Some type of gain. 
Five of Hearts is feminine energy. It says the moon. When there is a good omen. It's a prediction of good fortune. When distance in exposure it exposes your your secrets we are at the end of the reading but oh no these birds though it says the birds signify dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near if far away from the person with 7, 16, 12, or 22 between, it's a chance to avert the evil spell. What the fuck, bro? And it literally says, chance to avert the evil spell. Do y'all see that? Can y'all read that? And I was saying something about hoodoo voodoo. Didn't I just go through like a whole motherfucking... A whole soapbox moment. Y'all read that, right? Y'all can read that, right? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Mmm. Mmm. But I'm trying to tell you, ever since this motherfucker parted ways from this situation, ever since this person parted ways, it's like the struggle is over. Like things are doing good. And this person has been singing and excited about. I really do feel like this person has been telling everybody that they're single. And word has been getting around. Like other like people have been talking about this person being single. And it says right here. A period of ill health depression. And y'all watch out. Because there could be some... Cause you see that ink, isn't this, isn't this, I feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling like, what is the flight? It's like a spilled cup or something. You see the fly drinking something from a spilled cup? And remember, this cup was spilled over. I feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling like ink. Be careful of what you're reading because it could be some like some shit online because you know everything is online and it could be I, I don't know I'm feeling like ink and it says take care enemies are working against you y'all see that right mm. five of hearts though let me tell y'all what the five of hearts means now. Good gracious alive. Baby, baby, baby. Uh, wait, first the Ace of Diamonds means written news, a letter, a message, invitation, important documents, new beginnings, a fresh start, a new phase of life, something brand new, a ring, an engagement ring, life force, fire. I told you. An invitation, like people inviting you, like talking to you like banter hearts the five of hearts represent feminine energy woman's thoughts didn't I, I told you it was like women chatting before i read what it said the, the the birds mean for this card for this deck of cards like birds typically means communication it says the five of hearts is feminine energy women's thoughts freely things knitting or sewing, etc. Girly, feminine, uh, female sexuality, intimacy, tenderness, holding hands, physical displays of affection, the right hand or the right side, doing right, being right, being truthful, fair, just, desired opportunities, proposals which bring happiness and success, satisfying one's desires. Fulfilling a dream. All right. So again, like this means like, you know, female energy. I, this is something new. And I definitely feel like it's an invitation. It's banty people talking. I, I, someone knows that someone is single. I'm definitely feeling that. 
But boy, oh boy, oh boy. Those birds signify misfortune. It says, it far away, which is, this is the end of the fucking reading. Uh-uh, I gotta know what the fuck is going on in the shadows now. Now, I was, I was tempted to go grab this damn card. Father, tell me what's going on in the shadows. Lord Jesus, what's going on in the shadows? Tell me what's going on in the shadows on the female side of this story. And then we're going to find out what's going on in the shadow on the male side. And then we're going to wrap this up. And if y'all need any other information, y'all let me know. But I definitely feel like someone ended up in a relationship with someone that they didn't realize what they were getting themselves into for survival. I don't feel like they do not love this person. They do love this person. They did love this person. But it just... But whoever this, oh, give me energy on this. Child, you got the invading card. So it's like, this is like the stalker card to me. It's like someone's, and remember over here, it was saying something about someone was looking someone up online and things. So is this the female energy looking up someone online? Y'all take it how it resonates. But I'm asking about the female energy invading. So like the female energy is still watching. The female energy is still watching. Clarify the invading. Give me more information about the, the female energy. Distant. Yeah. They're definitely not together. They're, they're watching from afar for sure. And then this is a warning. Do y'all see that? Warning. Ooh, shout. Ooh, woo, honey. All right, give me guidance for the male energy. Mm, mm, mm. What is this? Lust. Lust. Ooh, shout. Person chasing lust or non-action. You got the non-action card, and that did fall over there. So uh, I feel like that because that lust card did fall over here on this side. So I feel like there's non-action on this side for this woman over here because like this whole situation was based off of lust, and it wasn't anything tangible and that's why this person is not taking any action give me more guidance about what's going on in the shadow of this male energy and then i'm wrapping this up if y'all want to know anything else y'all hit me up uh what's going on in the shadows for cancer in the name of jesus tell me what's going on in the male energy for cancer is there anything else you want us to know oh goodness gracious it don't seem like it what is this unavailable Mm. So listen, just bottom line, like God is just saying, just period. This male energy is not taking any action right now. They're unavailable, and like at the at the end of the day, I feel like the whole problem with this person is that this this person operates and chase after lust, and really does not have any type of like availability beyond that. You know. Or at least in this situation, I don't know. I don't know. And this person could have most definitely went off and chased other things and wanted to be single because they just wanted to, to you know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever known people that literally just want to be single and they choose to be single because... They want to just lust after people and fuck who they want and want to be unavailable and not have any ties or relationships. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, you know, I'm not taking any action in regards, you know, to leave people alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got many women that are waiting for me or many men or whatever, and I'm not taking no action towards none of them. I will come and get me some, you know, it's less base. Anything else, I'm unavailable. So it's like, I feel like this person wants to get back to that. They don't want the responsibility. 
and I really do feel like the male energy was probably just using this person for shelter and didn't realize who the fuck they were getting involved with. But they happy as fuck that they're single. Happy as fuck. But, woo, I don't know what the fuck type of... I don't know who the fuck y'all done got involved with, Kansas. Anyway, Kansas, I got to go. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.